I call the member for Swansea. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Today is a very important day indeed. Ovarian cancer is diagnosed annually in nearly a quarter of a million women globally and is responsible for 140,000 deaths each year. Statistics show that just 45 per cent of women with ovarian cancer are likely to survive for five years. That is why I rise today to recognise that Wednesday, the 24th, is Teal Ribbon Day. Teal is the international colour for ovarian cancer, and Teal Ribbon Day is a way to show your support for ovarian cancer awareness support and research, and to recognise those affected. Speaker, raising awareness about ovarian cancer is most important. Today, on Teal Ribbon Day, Ovarian Cancer Australia invites New South Wales parliamentarians to encourage women everywhere to know ovarian cancer. With knowledge comes power, and women have the power to not only give themselves the best possible chance of beating this disease, but also to change the story of this harrowing disease. In Australia, four women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer every single day. It could be you, it could be your friend, your partner, your sister, your mother, your grandmother, or your daughter. Unlike more common cancers, there are quite significant challenges as the disease has been largely overlooked and unfortunately underfunded at this point. Each year in Australia, around 1,400 women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer and more than 1,000 of those will die. Approximately 75 per cent of women are diagnosed at an advanced stage where the cancer is spread and it is difficult to treat successfully. At the moment, only 43 per cent of women with ovarian cancer will be alive five years after that diagnosis. But if ovarian cancer is diagnosed at an early stage, women have an 80% chance of being alive well after that five-year period. More women need to be diagnosed at an early stage when ovarian cancer is very treatable. And that is why everyone needs to know more about ovarian cancer and, most importantly, its symptoms. Every woman needs to know the symptoms of ovarian cancer. Symptoms for this cancer can often be confused with other less serious conditions, such as gastrointestinal disorders. Symptoms include increased abdominal size, <coughs> persistent bloating, difficult eating, feeling full quickly, abdominal and pelvic pain, needing to pass urine more urgently or more frequently. Speaker, I ask that you indulge me here in the House just for a moment while I relate to you a story that I encountered whilst I was door knocking in 2015. I knocked on a lady's door and she invited me in. She was making beautiful trinkets and I said to her, you know, what are you doing that for? And she was raising, making them to sell them to raise funds for ovarian cancer. Her name was Carolyn Bear. Carolyn's daughter Kylie died at 34 years of age. She was a psychologist studying for a PhD. She was newly married. Kylie, unfortunately, is one of those statistics. She was originally misdiagnosed with a irritable bowel syndrome. Carolyn and her husband Rob have raised more than $100,000 for cancer, with more than 60,000 of that directly going towards ovarian cancer. But let me tell you, that doesn't include the event that was held last Friday, uh, the Kylie Bear Memorial Golf Day, held in the member for Oxley's electorate, South West Rocks, where they raised $17,000 directly going to ovarian cancer. And I know that the member for Oxley is certainly a supporter of ovarian cancer and this wonderful cause. Carolyn is an ambassador for ovarian cancer, and I couldn't think of a better person to be in that role. But the one thing that stuck with me, when I was leaving Carolyn's house, she said to me, I recently retired, Yasmin. I was preparing to become a grandmother. Instead, I lost my daughter. In summing up, there are five key things to remember on Teal Ribbon Day. All women are at risk of ovarian cancer. Awareness and early warning signs of the disease could save lives. Diagnosis at an early stage vastly improves a woman's chance of survival. Ovarian cancer is often diagnosed at a late stage 
and many women mistakenly believe the cervical smear test, the pap test, will detect ovarian cancer. Unfortunately, that is not true. Thank you.